morning everyone it's Thursday uh, 7.25 on my way down to the shop we had a wet night wet morning lots of rain coming off the roof you can't really see it well you will in a minute but yeah it was a wet wet evening um, lots and lots and lots of rain um, I was up making two videos or sorting out one and uploading another I had to remove some content from one of the videos um, and upload a new one for the uh, for the BM we did and all the bits and bobs we did on the Hilux yesterday so that should be that one done now until he wants more stuff like speakers and subs hopefully <coughs> today we've got Brummie's Rummy Neil's van in. Um, he's got an airbag fault which we need to kind of sort out. What are you doing, mate? Come on. Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> we're doing like five miles an hour. Oh. God's sakes. Um, <laughs> he's got an airbag fault which we need to figure out. There's a warning light on. Um, now, we did have the seats changed in the front. So it's either one of two things, either airbag, I think it's airbag retention uh, seat buckle. So a lot of the seatbelt stuff now obviously has like a pre-tensioner in it. So as you get into an accident, the seatbelt charge goes off, which forces the seatbelt to become tighter, which basically holds you in a more secure point. Um, and because he's gone from a twin seat to a single seat, I think that's the issue is that that wiring is not hooked up anymore and the airbag system knows the circuit is open and therefore brings on a light. <clears throat> so my job is to try and figure out if we can which plug it is, which wiring harness it is, add some resistance to it by way, by, by, way, by means of a resistor to the right value and hopefully then fool the car into thinking the airbag system is connected and back online. I think he also wants me to retrim some seat bases with some carpet uh, and then put it all back together. So that's today's task. Nice and chill, nothing too stressful, hopefully. Um, we've gone up a little bit on subscribers. We've had some comments. I know, I know we've had a, a video redone, but yeah, like I say, I had to change some stuff for the video remove some bits and bobs. I'm gonna get some brekkie, get off to work, and I'll shut up talking and I'll see you soon. Morning everyone. Right, welcome to Thursday's activities. So we've got Brummy Neil's uh, apocalypse van, the bug out vehicle. We've got this thing back in. Um, already we've diagnosed and fixed an airbag issue. We're gonna change leads round and bits and bobs. Uh, originally, we were gonna put a Pioneer in this thing because obviously I love Pioneers. Neil wanted to go for a Kenwood. The Kenwood is now starting playing up. So we're gonna be looking at changing the radio out for a different alternative, as well as changing the lead and stuff and keeping the airbag codes off. I've got seat bases that rattle and jiggle and make racket while he's driving around. So we're going to try and silence them and in, by doing so we are going to he's bought look at this look for alex from brum thank you he's bought me some beers for me my fridge upstairs bless him thanks mate um good customer there we go um so these seat bases they rattle because they are the captain's seat so they swivel around but they also make loads of noise so we're gonna Remove all the seats and seat bases. We're going to dynamat the seat bases. We're going to carpet the seat bases to cover the dynamat so they look all nice and dark black or gray. Um, I've got to look at the cupboard light up there that seems to have stopped working. That's another thing we've got to do and swap out the CB radio for something else. Um, so, oh, and an oil change. We've got to do an oil change for him. Um, change the filter. So he's got, he's got fresh oil in this thing. So a list to do is give me a budget to work to. Um, we're going to crack on, get things done. Uh, probably going to start doing the seat bases first. Um, once that's done, then we'll look at probably oil change, CB radio, lighting up there, 
all of the fun stuff. Um, get this thing ready for him. So it's good to go on the, I think he said the 14th when he needs it next. Um, but for now, we're going to crack on, take all this bits, these bits and bobs out um, and, and look at radio options as well. Fun times. Come back to you in a bit. See you soon. Hello. His trousers, everyone. He's popped in to say hello. What are you uh, doing now? <laughs> well, I am, come and have a look. I am, I am dismantling and playing with a transit van. Redoing stuff, figuring stuff out, um, running new cables in, dismantling. Look that for a new cigarette lighter. Who'd have thought? I'm, uh, no, I'm not. I'm changing the air freshener. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun, don't you know? Yes, Chris, come to say hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hope you're all well. You've got to turn around it. You've got to, you've got to turn it around. So Keep signing up. What are you up to now? How many people you got? Uh, 3,000, no, 2,340. One. That's good. So it's nearly doubled since the last time I was here because you were at something like 1500 when I was last here. Yeah. So it's... That's because you haven't been on the TV. I know. <laughs> they doubled because you've not been here. That's really? what I'm saying. <laughs> Where's your beard gone? What beard? That beard you had in the last. Oh, I shaved it off because it's Movember. Is it? So I'm growing a mo for oh, men's health. God. Hey, support the cause, mate. You've got to do it. I've got a beard. Hey? Nearly. It's just unshaven. <laughs> Can't be arsed. You just look homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I may be broken down on the side of the road in 10 minutes, so I will look a bit oh, dishevelled. What's, what's wrong with the Audi, Chris? Everything. Misfiring, <laughs> backfiring, cutting out, you name it. Not misfiring, not firing. It's just not, Some firing. It's just not firing, yeah. So we're going to get that sorted. Take care, everyone. See you soon. <laughs> D1 in the big transit van household. Sorry, that was my best big brother impression. So, finished for the first day. Well, let me get a torch. Uh, so, had a very productive day, although it felt a bit, a bit sluggish to start. Uh. Oh my goodness, excuse me. So, we've run his new USB lead. That'd be that one there hanging. Just here and that runs up into the top there where he's got his usb uh kind of distribution box so that's all done we've taken the radio out we've made some more incisions and messed around with the cabling because we're going to be swapping this out for a pioneer i've swapped his cb cb radio out from the old to the new that's changed i've just got to locate some little screws in the side and we fixed the airbag code so we fixed the airbag problem that's now good to go uh i've got to look at lights up there that strip light isn't working um we need to kind of have a little nose at that i've then got to start the seats fit the new radio do some dash dash modifications tidy up the cable in <laughs> but today it's it's been a busy one but we're making making steps so um probably stereo or seats next and then yeah just kind of work our way around but we've made a good start today so i'm happy with the progress job done so day one is finished for this thing um wifey's out tonight so i've got to go home and babysit i mean parenting I've got to do that um that's that's on my task today so i'm gonna shut up shop get home uh and look after my sprogs so I'll see you all bright and early in the morning. We've got a Skoda in tomorrow. It's having a dash cam face kit. Um, no, sorry, reverse camera face kit. Pioneer 360 head unit infotainment adapter. I think it's a, is it a Skoda Roomster, Fabia. No, it's not Fabia. Might be the bigger one. Superb, no, I don't know. Something like that. That's in tomorrow. And then as soon as we've done the Skoda, we can day two on the transit. But it's going well. Right, I'm off. See you all in the morning. Ciao. Morning, everybody. It's Friday. Welcome to the weekend. Uh, <clears throat> sunshine's out today. We've got a lovely uh, sunrise, very misty, very cold. Don't know whether you can see my breath, but 
it's, it's got to that point in the year. It's lush to get up and feel everything so chilly. Uh, 7.18 on my way into the shop. I'm gonna go and get some breakfast. I'm hungry this morning. I think we might have to do a cheat today and get a bacon, bacon and a coffee. I've been behaving all week. So, Neil's van, still in the shop. Uh, that's gonna be a kind of little project for a few days. I've got it for 10 if I need to. Um, but we got a lot done on it yesterday, which is cool. But it gives me, because the vehicle's there, it gives me scope to kind of crack on with it when I've got spare time or a cancellation, or even if I want to go in in the evening, I can kind of do a bit on it and get it done. But we'll get there. He's given me his budget. We're gonna to work to that, get it all sorted for him. Um, I've had one drop off already. It is a Skoda Yeti. That's what I can see on the camera. We've got head unit to do, fascia kit, infotainment adapter. I can't remember whether we're doing a parking, like a reverse camera or not, um, but certainly head unit and infotainment adapter fascia kit is definitely happening. She's picking it up <clears throat> on Saturday, so I've got the car for a few days. God, look at that sunshine, it's beautiful. Um, so hopefully a nice, steady, chill day and obviously do whatever we need to do. It's magic seeing Chris yesterday. God, it's been a while since I've seen him. His new job is kicking his ass. He's working all the hours God sends. That's what you get when you're in IT, unfortunately, though. You're on demand now all the time because you can work from home. There's no getting away from it. Same as wifey. Sucks. There's no break from work and work has kind of encroached on your home life, which I do feel for people. Um, but anyway, we've got some comments in the comment section. We've got some feedback, good and bad. Um, no subscriber change, stayed the same. But we're going to get off to work and I will speak to you in a bit. Happy Friday everyone. Nearly the weekend. Morning everyone. Right, let me just turn this down a second. So we've got our Skoda Yeti in. Uh, Stormtrooper Panda Edition, black and white. So we haven't got a camera on this one, just the infotainment adapter. We've got to take out this radio, pop in a fascia kit, put a Pioneer 360 in here. So microphone obviously going to go up there, the AB aerial over there, and we'll get the infotainment adapter showing all the bits and bobs for the car stuff and heater control and all that bits and bobs. So going to get cracking on this, get your stone controls active. I'll see you in a bit. Right then, everyone, let me just turn this music down a second. So the Yeti is done. Just jump in and I'll show you what's what. So this one's had a Pioneer 360 Wi-Fi adapter. Infotainment. And a Alex special install. <laughs> so we'll keep the old stuff for the uh, customer but that's basically like your old radio front comes off of it um, so that's the bits and bobs for that there's our Pioneer microphone in the usual place DAB in the usual place let's just start him up screwed up comes to life <laughs> big old crack in the windscreen Big old dent. So we go okay. So DAB works. Um, reverse camera, sorry, reverse parking sensors. So <clears throat> this emulates what the car sees. So as I go backwards, and we just go back to a danger. There we go, you see the front light up. So it does what it needs to with regards to the parking sensors, but also if I do anything with the heat controls, let's say for example, I get the climate screen as well. So I get the temperatures left and right, obviously AC on, AC off, all links in, goes through the car stereo. Very cool. So that's this one done, Skoda is finished. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Damn straight. We'll get this one out. 
get Neil's van back in for day two of the big transit van household. See you in a bit. Right, everyone, lunch has been consumed. Now, we've had a delivery of stuff. Subs, edge units, all of the fun stuff. Cameras, yes. Two of these bad boys now. Many jobs coming up with these in. Single din pioneers, doing well. Um, but for now we're gonna get the 360 with the new lead in the transit van. Bing bong, get the dash rebuilt. That's that bit done. Sort out this cabling, sort out that cabling. Um, take the seats out, start trimming the uh, sound treatment with the dynamat and the carpet in. And then last but not least, a locked door. Look at that light, do an oil change. Happy days. Right, see you in a bit. Day two in the big transit van household. So let's give you a little progress update. We're smacking on. Old radio and stuff is out. Lights are fixed. Woohoo! So I found the problem. There was a break in the cable up there inside the cabinet. So we connected that back up. They're all good. CV swapped. Now we have radio and fascia kit in. We've got our Pioneer. We've got USB there, but obviously this is a Wi-Fi unit. So when he puts his tablet up there, he can stream directly to this um, on CarPlay and Android Auto. Steering controls work, reverse camera works. Microphone done, DAB aerial done, new Thinkware dash camera. So we've got a front on there, ready to rock and roll. That's all wired in. And it's basically left, seats, oil change, done. I'm knackered. <laughs> I'm done. No, I'm knackered. It's been a busy day. Uh, a very busy day. It's coming up to ooh, 20 past five. So probably going to knock this on the head today, shifty some cars around, get everything in for the night tucked away. Crack on again tomorrow. Saturday we've got stuff in. Um, Yeti, Skoda Yeti will be picked up tomorrow. This is obviously with me till whenever but literally seats done seats to be done oil change to be done cars good to go so not bad you can have it till the 14th and i've done it in nearly three days welcome brummy you're welcome see you soon right then everyone let me just turn down this radio how are we are we good oh so end of friday just getting everything ready to leave. Um, van, nearly done. So we have got seat bases and an oil change to do. That's pretty much it. All the list is fixed. All the stuff is swapped. So that's super cool. And I'm sure when Neil picks it up, he will be dead chuffed. Um, got a Porsche coming down in a minute. That's coming in for tomorrow. Do some bits and bobs too. Camera, fish kit, head unit, Pioneer. And the Yeti is being picked up tomorrow morning. Fireworks like an air have already started. Obviously it's our, one of the UK's weird traditions in um, remembrance of Guy Fawkes trying to blow up the Houses of Parliament. We make a fake little doll, put them on a bonfire set light to him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Bit weird but it's working we love a good fireworks night we're going with the kids and wifey off to the polo ground on saturday night obviously since covid we've not had that luxury because people have not been allowed to mingle single mingle pringle single pringle ready to mingle that one too so this is kind of like the first year it's been back <clears throat> so we're going to go and watch some fireworks Saturday night. Hopefully I can get all the work done tomorrow. And we'll have a nice little result for the weekend. As in the bank balance and a day off Sunday. But that's it. Love you and leave you. End of, uh, end of Friday. And we'll pick up again tomorrow morning. 
when more stuff happens. See you then.